In my signature assignment um, for 512, I was in a high school history classroom. Um, and so one of my focus students was a female in the 10th grade and she was an English language learner. Um, she is in the early intermediate stage um, of, in of her English language. And so um, some of the things that I noticed and spoke to the teacher about when I was in my observations is that she struggled more in her writing, um, but really excelled when she had the opportunity to um, speak her answer or express what she knew by speaking rather than writing. Um, and I saw this when we did a classroom debate for one of my lessons. Um, her paper that she turned in didn't have very much on it, but when we were in the debate, she did a really good job of being able to express herself. Um, and so I noticed that she was more interested in assignments when she knew she could do well in them. Um, because of that, her interest also connects with her learning profile as a student, which is her preference of expressing knowledge. Um, so you don't always want to let a student only express what they know one way because then there's no growth there. But um, I would want to make sure that when I am able and when it's appropriate to give multiple modes of representation for students when um, you know creating those assignments or classroom activities, to give her that chance to verbally express what she knows if maybe it's not coming through in her writing. And then we can go back to her writing and help her through that. But she just may be more interested and more confident in what she's learning if she knows she has a, um, an opportunity to verbally express herself in the classroom. Um, in a journal article in Communication Education, uh, Joseph Mazur discusses positive relationship between student interest, motivation, learner empowerment, and student-teacher relationship. So basically, the more a student is interested in class, the further they're motiv motivated, the more they want to learn, and then the better positive student emotion that they have towards school. So it's all connected together. When they're interested, they want to do better. They'll have a better relationship with you as a teacher. So for this focused student, I would want to give her ways to express herself verbally in assignments and in the classroom.